Neptown Tuner here. You know what to do with that subscribe button and that like button and maybe even that bell button. You know, I've been waiting for lots of stuff, but pretty soon here, the good content is going to start pouring in like an avalanche. So I had to take this front bumper back off. I didn't have to. Well, I did have to. Why? Because I've got a grill problem. This thing is all messed up. First off, it's too restrictive. Look at this big fat plate right here. Not only is it a big fat solid air robbing, horsepower robbing, torque robbing plate that just keeps all the air out from my intercooler, but it's too big because it's made for a license plate and it's got peel. I mean, come on, what is it with these things in their, in their peel? So we were replacing these things right and left under warranty just because the, the paint was peeling off. But we don't have to worry about that anymore because there's another problem with this thing before I continue. This is the main problem. More peel. We got chrome peel up here. Look at that. Wrinkles. Old age chrome wrinkles in the plastic. Plastic chrome peel. Imagine that. So... This whole grill is getting replaced with a RSQ5 grill. RSQ5, say it with me. RSQ5. And it's going to be just as fast. So, if you want to know how to take this bumper off, if I remember, I'll pin it in the uh, comments because I already did a video on taking the front bumper off. It's super easy on a Q5. You don't even need to take those little 10 millimeters back behind the fender flaps. So... Super easy bumper to remove. Now we gotta flip this thing upside down, unbolt it from the backside, and bolt the new RSQ5 grill in. But first, we have problems, because the, the grill I got, apparently it was made by someone uh, that doesn't care about quality very much, because they hot glued these uh, sensors in, and I might try to figure something else out. I don't know, because all I had to do was touch it, and they popped out, so I gotta figure figured that dilemma out. Let's get to it. Eventually I'll get to this chemical video. I'm pretty much done collecting all of them, but they've just been sitting there. But I got my tire machine here and I put my uh, spare tire insert on my tire machine. So now I have a nice soft surface to put my bumper on, scratch free surface. If I was outdoors, maybe I'd throw it on a nice luscious uh, valley of grass. So this thing, we're not using this anymore because the bumper is mostly cut anyway. But if you'll notice, if you wanna save this thing, you're gonna have to pull it up and pry it out rather than just ripping that foam. You see how it's in here, right here? We're moving on to the next step, which is figuring out something better with these. I have to take these out and then all of these come loose. What are these, T25s? First, there's a couple ways we could take this loose. We could take it loose from the connector right here, but we're also gonna need to take these sensors out. So we're gonna have to uh, push these tabs apart from each other and pop these out. See that? So this one, I'm gonna show you how to just pop it out as such. Now look at this, what happened? We got a rubber grommet. Pay mind to your rubber grommets. There's one in here that didn't come out. Personally, I do not use Home Link or uh, the garage door opener deal. Uh, I don't even park my own personal cars in the garage unless they're getting worked on. So I'll just be leaving that unplugged. And then, uh oh. Don't do that, it's a bad noise. Nothing up top, and then back over here. Oh, come on. And then what's the deal with this one? Do I have to take this whole thing out? Let's just try it. What's bullet? Oh. Grab all these. Uh-oh. I want to tell you about that sound.
Okay, now the whole thing can come out. I was zoomed in the whole time. Okay, now I collected all these, but they're still going to run off on me. Is it just going to uh, be a nice little easy thing here for me? I'm going to have to disconnect this wiring. They've got these sharp little barbs. So rather than pulling them straight back, I like to rotate them off sideways. There, see that? Now yeah, that's gonna be out of the way. Now, is this thing gonna be happy that it's being removed? Or is it gonna wanna struggle? We've got these clips right here to start. Clip, clip. I won't, I won't keep on saying it because you'll probably want to punch me in the face. Okay, so we got the bottom loose here, mostly, that one. Okay, the bottom's loose. Roll around and see where we're fighting. We're fighting. Got some clips up top here, you see. This is the actual bumper, and this is the grill. So you could easily break these plastic clips. You just want to carefully get behind here and then just lightly, softly separate it, just like such. And then we're going to come over here and we're going to do the exact opposite thing on the same side. I know I said that wrong, just for the fun of it, promise. So now what we got is a loosey goosey grill. So we need to snake it out of the wiring harness right here. And I just dumped all my hardware in that license plate bracket. It's gonna just wanna slip off if these are loose. There we go, we got the louver section loose. Mind your wiring harness, maybe maybe even pull this one off. Or maybe don't, it's up to you. Actually, it's up to me. Come on now. There we go. Look at that. Did you know that this bumper is actually a two-piece bumper? Oh, there goes all my hardware. This is actually a two-piece bumper. Do you see how it comes apart right there at the splitter? I'm not joking. It's completely separate piece connected by the grill. And then that lower piece is also separate. It's a three-piece bumper, bro. Let's get this new grill in. So here we are, here we have the old grill and the authentic RSQ5 grill. Notice how it's so much more open and it's black instead of chrome surround, blacked out. We gotta figure out something with these pods though because the pods that came with these are crap. Complete and utter failures. So this is the factory grill here again, and if you'll notice, these uh, parking sensor pods are just double stick taped on the inside, and they have a nice flange. So I'm gonna try to be careful and uh, pull it off, and I'm gonna see if I can't refit it in the new grill or in the new bumper. So I decided to go ahead and go for super glue. I put it over the foam. I decided not to go ahead and take the foam off. I probably should have. I don't know if it will work better or worse, 
with the super glue over the foam or just the super glue over the plastic. Initially, I'm thinking it'd probably work better the way I did it with the super glue over the foam, but it could deteriorate the foam and not stick. Who knows? Someone can give your opinions in the comments, but I'm impatient and I don't feel like measuring and stuff. So I'm just kind of going to eyeball this thing, try to get it as straight and level as possible and do it just like the other side right here. So I'm going for like, I don't know, just, I'm just going to go for it. I'm going to go, uh, it's like jumping off a cliff. As soon as I stick, it's probably going to want to stick. I'm going to try to follow this line right here because there's a little bit of a line, but kind of disappears. But, and then I'm going to kind of try to butt it up to this line right here. You see that line? And then I'm going to try to level it out evenly. So we'll see how this goes right about there. And it's not near as sticky as what I thought it was going to be. It probably already dry. No, it's still wet, but let's see what happens. It's not even, I don't think this is going to work very well. Maybe a weather strip adhesive would have worked better. I'll, I'll let it sit there. Maybe I should hold it down. I'm going to hold it down. It stuck on there fairly well. It's on there pretty good. So now I'm gonna move it just a little bit off the platform and drill a hole through it. So I'm gonna use a step bit most of the way through and then it might obstruct me. So we'll see how far I can get. I'm gonna use both hands for that. It's plastic and I'm using a step bit. So if I'm a little bit off, which I was, I can just push in the direction where I need to be to even it up, and then the step bit kind of centers me as well. When you're done drilling to size, you're gonna want to deburr it with a round file. Clean it up a little bit. Now here's the problem, muchacho. The wire's not long enough, so I gotta stink and extend the wiring harness. Before I finish taping this up, this is what it's gonna look like. You see this plugs in over here, and then it's gonna tuck in right through here in the bottom of the grill. And then these are my crimp connectors with the heat shrink tubing over them. And whenever I do those crimp connectors, I like to crimp them on one side, flip the pliers over, and crimp them on the other. All I got to do is uh, set this grill into place and bolt it in. Here it is with the wiring tucked all the way. I tucked the wiring under this side right here, and then it's going on the bottom side of the grill here. And then I tucked one side through here and the other side around here. So it's all completely free and clear. And these parking sensors, they don't look too shabby. They're installed pretty nice. You'll see it whenever I uh, put it all back together in a future video. I'm not even gonna finish this in this video. I'm gonna take the engine out and tear the engine down and we'll see what all I get into. I got a lot of stuff to get into. You don't wanna wait for the very first part of the hot glue. You want it to warm up just a little bit hotter than that. Like it's not very hot yet. See this, this stuff right here, I can still play with. It's not burning my fingers yet. You can roll this off and clean it up. And getting pretty close here. What we'll do is just pull this wiring all the way out of the way right here and then I'm gonna fill a few of these channels, probably every other channel here. So just something like this. Just fill that channel up nicely. And then I'm just going to tuck the wire into it. Just like so. And then I'll skip all the way down over here and do the same thing. 
this bottom piece was pretty tricky to come out. I said it was a three piece bumper earlier, but I guess it's a four piece because there's a little trim that goes across here. And uh, scratching up my bumper. I went ahead and just ripped these bottom pieces off right here. That's not probably all that necessary. The biggest thing that holds these things in are there's tabs that go up in here and you just have to push these tabs back and then pull this bottom piece out. So this is what it looks like right here that bottom piece, and then you just kind of have to push the rest of it in. Make sure that you put nice good pressure in here because these clips need fixed as well. In the back here, you gotta get these clips all the way in and you see my, my hot glue and my wiring and everything's nice and neat. Wiring's all tucked away. And this is the last step to my RSQ5 grill. No, it's not an RSQ5 grill. I don't like false advertising. But I like the grill. It's a nice grill. Hit that thumbs up button and subscribe, will ya? Thanks. Naptown Tuner.